Now let's start with facial hemihypertrophy. That is also known as hyperplasia. Actually, uh, either you can terms hypertrophy or hyperplasia exchangeably use kar sakte ho. Because dono ka matlab hota hai hypertrophy ho ya hyperplasia ho. End result is always enlargement. But the difference is that in hypertrophy, the enlargement is that is because of the increase in size of the cell. Size increase in the cells, that is why the enlargement is that. And in hyperplasia, the number of cells is that is enlargement is that. But the ultimate result is enlargement. So here the terms can be used interchangeably. Now, introductory points that you have seen in facial hemihypertrophy is that. नाम से समझ आ रहा है फेशियल इन्वॉल्विंग द फेस हेमी मतलब हाफ एंड हाइपरट्रॉफी दैट इज द एनलार्जमेंट सो एनलार्जमेंट ऑफ हाफ साइड ऑफ द फेस और यूनिलैटरल एनलार्जमेंट ओके सो इट इज कैरेक्टराइज्ड बाय एसिमेट्रिक दैट इज वन हाफ ऑफ द फेस ऑफ या तो ये फेस का भी हो सकता है या इसमें कोई सा भी बॉडी पार्ट भी इन्वॉल्व हो सकता है आल्सो इट इज डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री टाइप्स the first is complex hemihyperplasia, that is involvement of the half of the body. Matlab ki ek side ka, maybe right ya left mein se koi ek side ka puri body involved hai, that is complex. Okay, now then we have simple hemihyperplasia, that is involvement of a single limb. Matlab ek side bhi nahi, agar ek side hai, to usme bhi ya to haath ya to pair, aisa. Or third ho gaya, hemifacial hyperplasia, that is involving one side of the face. Okay, I said that face be involved kar sakta hai aur body ka koi sa part bhi. So once again it is complex involving the one half that is both the limbs upper and lower. Single, simple hemihyperplasia that is involving any one limb that is either hand or leg. And third is hemifacial that is involving one side of the face. Now we come to the etiology. So etiology has three points in it. The first is actually the etiology is unknown but still if it comes as a short note or something then you need to write these three points. The first is vascular or lymphatic abnormalities that is any abnormality in the blood or the lymph nodes. Then is the CNS disturbances and third is the chromosomal abnormalities. So any kind of these abnormalities may result in facial hemihypertrophy. Now let's see the clinical features. So, there is enlargement confined to one side of the face, unilateral macroglossia and premature development and eruption as well as increased size of the dentition. Okay, And the females are more commonly affected. Matlab, there is a slight female or we can say a dominant female predilection. Also, there is almost equal involvement of right as well as the left side. More importantly are the oral manifestations because uh, mostly your tooth, your teeth are affected by this anomaly. So the dentition on the hyploplastic or the affected side, now since it is enlarged, so definitely the crown size, the root size, the shape and the rate of development all will be altered on that side. Okay, so usually the crown size, the root size are all increased or, or enlarged. Okay, also the rate of development is faster on the affected side. Frequently involved teeth are your canines, your premolars and your first molars. And the permanent teeth on the affected side erupts more rapidly than their counterparts on the involved side. That means that the unaffected side is the normal rate of development, normal rate of growth. Hoga, but the affected side hai, wahan par fatafat gray, matlab, aapke primary padhe rahenge, aur peechhe se aapke uh, daat aana shuru ho jayenge permanent. You can see in the x-ray. Coincident to this phenomena is the premature shedding of the decidus. Obviously, simultaneously yehi hoga, kyunki jab decidus daat ke hote ve permanent teeth aane lagenge, to wo primary teeth ke roots ko resorb karenge, aur unka early exfoliation ya fir shedding karvayenge. Then the bone of the maxilla and the mandible is also being enlarged, being wider and thicker and sometimes with altered trabecular patterns. Obvious baat hai, jab ek side ka face enlargement ya facial enlargement hoga, to wo bone ko bhi alter karega, tooth ko to karega hi, but similarly wo maxilla ya mandible jo bhi involved hai on the affected side, usko bhi enlarge karega, thick banayega, to trabecular pattern jo hai arrangement wo alter hoga. 
टंग इज कॉमनली इन्वॉल्व मैक्रोग्लोसिया तो होता ही है अलॉन्ग विद दैट क्योंकि मैक्रोग्लोसिया हो रहा है टंग एनलार्ज हो रही है तो लिंगुअल पैपिले का भी एनलार्जमेंट होता है प्रीडोमिनेटली लिंगुअल पैपिले का एनलार्जमेंट होता है और क्योंकि एक साइड इन्वॉल्व है यूनिलैटरल एनलार्जमेंट होगा तो जो टंग है वो ऑब्वियस ही बात है ऑपोजिट वो ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन में जाएंगे क्योंकि एक साइड का एनलार्जमेंट हुआ है जो जो टिप है वो जो अनअफेक्टेड साइड है उस तरफ पॉइंट करेगा दैट इज द कॉन्ट्रालैटरल साइड कॉन्ट्रालैटरल मतलब अनअफेक्टेड साइड पे जब एक साइड से एनलार्ज है तो टिप जो है वो कॉन्ट्रालैटरल या अनअफेक्टेड साइड पे जाएगा ठीक है बक्कल म्यूकोजा जो है दैट अपियोर्स वेलविटी एंड मे सीम टू हैंग इन सॉफ्ट पेंडिलस फोल्ड ऑन द अफेक्टेड साइड सो यू कैन सी द इमेज योर दिस इज द इमेज ऑफ एक्चुअली अ फोल्ड तो मतलब क्लॉथ का फोल्डिंग्स जो दिख रहा है आपको बक्कल म्यूकोजा वैसी हो जाती है एक रिंकली और वेलवेटी अपियरेंस हो जाती है बक्कल म्यूकोजा की देन कम्स द ट्रीटमेंट सो देर इज नो स्पेसिफिक ट्रीटमेंट अदर देन अटेम्प्ट ऑफ कॉस्मेटिक रिपेयर ऑब्वियसली क्योंकि ए सिमेट्रिकल एनलार्जमेंट हो रहा है फेस का सो दैट इज एस्थेटिकली नॉट प्लीजिंग तो कॉस्मेटिक रिपेयर होते हैं ठीक है सर्जरीज होती है आफ्टर दैट द ग्रोथ जो एनलार्ज फेस है उसको थोड़ा पहले सीज करने सीज करने की ट्राई करते हैं उसको कम करने की ट्राई करते और फिर उसका सर्जरी होता है एंड देन पीरियोडिक एबडोमिनल अल्ट्रासाउंड या एम आर आई रिकमेंड करते हैं टू टेस्ट टाइम टू टाइम कि वहां पे कोई ट्यूमर ग्रोथ या एनलार्जमेंट तो नहीं हो गई है सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट फेशियल हेमी हाइपरट्रॉफी और फेशियल हेमी हाइपर Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel Dentist to the Point and please let us know in the comment section if you have any doubt regarding any topic or any chapters or any kind of suggestions. Everything is welcomed. Thank you.